Hello everyone, this is the very first time that I'm gonna be doing a review on this wonderful series called Bloodlink. And the reason I'm adding this in my channel is I know this series is about to end, but I just want to share it to everyone how much I love everything about the plot of this story. The art is so freaking unbelievable and my gosh the artwork is to die for there's a lot of beautiful couples a wonderful family and a lot of cute little babies oh my god all of these eye candies like cute babies and the titties and the adorable cuddling my gosh it is really worth the watch and now I want the story of a third couple I want the Kakia and Ino story so freaking bad before we get started I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more yaoi content and would like to support this channel please don't forget to smash that like button also if you haven't done so Please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my Twitter or Instagram at Sealed Fujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Sealed Fujoshi. Finally, this video will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 118 of Bloodlink. I need a lot of hot grandpa action. I know it sounds weird, but if you read this series this specific story is all about vampires and lichen so you'll understand that even though i say grandpa he doesn't really look like a grandpa he's too hot to be a grandpa to be honest but in th in theory he really is a grandpa <laughs> and my gosh I would really love to see the side story of Ino and his lover, Grandpapa Kakia, and how they will face their problems together, especially since we all know that Ino is a mortal being that can die, unlike Kakia, who is a vampire who will not die. I'm really sad because I know the faith of Grandpa Kakya and Uncle Eno because, you know, with Eno not wanting to live for an eternity and wanting to stay as a mortal like in for the rest of his life is basically telling Kakya that their time is limited and their relationship would end when Eno dies from natural causes of death. And I'm scared to read Eno and Kakya's story after thinking how, I mean, that there's only one ending for them really. And I don't know if um, finally Kakya will find a way to finally become a moral so that they can be together even in the afterlife but um, I highly doubt that you know Eno would want to become a vampire himself because this was already discussed in one or two chapters ago where Kakya really wants to buy Eno so bad and apparently due to Eno's age you know he's becoming older as you can see that he has some wrinkles now in this second season it's causing some restraints on their lovemaking but even after Kakia proposed this idea 
Eno declined the proposal for the reason of being afraid of becoming like the elder Lycan. He's afraid of becoming just like him and he's afraid that he might change just like the elder did so he declined the offer even though Kakya assured Eno that Eno is nothing like the elder Eno still said no so for Kakya he will have to stand with Eno until he passes of old age and you know just thinking of this rule I'm going through stages of grief right now and I'm currently in denial you know I think that seriously though Eno will die of you know natural assuming that he lives the longest as he could it's gonna be very bittersweet for Kakya and Eno and I really don't want it and thinking of um, Kakya and Eno made me realize that Wa and Soyun are both moral lichens like Eno it means that uh, Wa Guk and Li Bin are which is the first couple in the series and Wa and So Yoon are the second couple of this series series which is um, also if you haven't read the first season Wa is the son of Gok Wa Gok and Lee Bin and Wa's partner is I mean Wa was born as a mortal lichen even though Bin is a vampire and Wa Gok is a vampire Wa was born as a mortal lichen and the partner that Wa chose, who is So Yoon, is also a mortal like Lycon. So, you know, with both Wa and So Yoon being mortals, you know, the vampire parents are gonna see their son grow old and die. And that makes me really, really sad too, because the only way that we can have a happy ending which is really unreasonable because uh Hua already said that he knows that you know his parents are not gonna die because they're both vampires so he needed someone he can share his life with which was so yun um but you know if let's say that this is like very unrealistic it already is unrealistic but let's just say like just so that the author can make us all happy that um what is the author gonna do like um is the author gonna make wa and soyun vampires too but then again if they did what's gonna happen to the triplets like is that really a life that the triplets wants you know like is that even a life that Wa and So Yoon wants you know it's never gonna end and you kind of see like this might work for Wa Gok and um, Bin being a immoral couple but it might not be something that Wa and So Yoon would want nor they would want for their children right so it's my gosh like it's really something to think about but it's a common theme in vampire stories right that's why it's a whole niche by itself but <sighs> thinking and looking back just a couple of months ago I was going crazy looking at baby Wa and killing me with all of his cuteness and now that baby is all grown up has a husband and has his own triplets to take care of and I look back to Wa's parents love story all the way to chapter one 
and my gosh like time has flown in this story and I don't want it to end I am even hoping for a continuation of the three babies all grown up it's gonna be our grand kiddos and they're so adorable my gosh like you know what since the whole vampire and moral lichen thing is so depressing let's just talk about how cute the babies are seriously at this point i wouldn't mind if this story goes for another 100 chapters i don't care if it's 200 chapters long or 300 chapters long anything for the babies and the couples that they're gonna meet my gosh like that would be so freaking awesome if we get to see the baby story too please 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 i would love to see the story of the triplets and just thinking of how cute they are they're giving me cavities on how sweet they are i can't handle it imagine if the kids get their own separate story i would be so freaking happy but it's gonna make me feel so freaking old i'm gonna be a great great grandma <laughs> anyways i hope you enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys love that i'm interested in feel free to leave me a message and converse with me i'd love to hear back from you also don't forget to support the author all the manual details can be found in the description below again thank you so much and hope to see you next time